Now to an Eyewitness News exclusive. An auto technician says he was ambushed on the job, shot in the arm, and his car smashed. All for a piece of equipment. That equipment reprograms key fobs and is highly sought after by car thieves. ABC 7's Eric Hong spoke to the victim who says the terrifying encounter has him rethinking how he'll do his job in the future. He joins us live tonight with a story that's new at 10 and you'll only see here on ABC 7. Eric. Cheryl, that auto technician, says he was lured to an alley on the south side, thinking he was there to help a customer. Instead, he ended up the, vic uh, ended up the victim of an armed ambush. Tonight, this crumpled vehicle, riddled with bullet holes and covered in broken glass, is evidence of an encounter that could have ended in death. It just happened so quick. And it was such an adrenaline rush. Mike, who wanted to withhold his last name, programs key fobs for drivers who need a replacement and believes he was targeted for his car key programmer in this Southside Alley two weekends ago. I would definitely screen my customers better. Mike says he was called for a job here near 73rd and Dante, but the customer who requested a new fob wasn't there with the car. Instead, he says two other vehicles boxed his car in and a handful of robbers armed with long guns started rifling through his back seat. And at that moment, you know, I started going reverse. I mean, I was hoping, you know, to get them because, you know, my car was the only weapon I had. And obviously, you know, they had more. Mike says he managed to crash his way out. The offender's opening fire, hitting him in the wrist and right shoulder. This bullet fragment lodged in his hoodie. Just incredibly fortunate. Mike, the victim of an increasingly common crime, the theft of these programmers, which car thieves can use to open a locked vehicle. In June, video captured thieves using a sledgehammer to smash into a Bridgeview locksmith shop. After searching for less than two minutes, the burglars race out of the business with eight programmers. For now, with his car shot up and his wounds still healing, Mike is unable to make a living. Some people try to take advantage of, you know, us workers. Mike says he still has a bullet lodged in his right shoulder, but for the most part, he's feeling okay physically and feels extremely lucky. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.